Hello there fellow humans and welcome to another shop video and today I'm gonna have a look at the Eric concept one that is in the shop now for of course you guessed it crates which means you should not under any circumstances actually buy it however I'm gonna review it nonetheless if you do find an unlucky soul on the battlefield that decided to gamble away their money now the rest of the shop there isn't much interesting things in here at least. Now, you do have Alpha Predator containers, which I do find interesting timing, yet uh, again, don't actually buy these things. And then the rest that's actually important are the tanks down here. The T-34 is hilariously overpriced. The Fearless Platoon isn't really vehicles that you want at that price either. The Crushers are a waste of space, and that's about it. So the only thing that we can actually look at is the Erich, a tier 9 medium tank, this consumables, provisions, ammo and equipment, that's how I would personally do it, and then we're gonna have a look at the stats, which I find it very annoying that you actually have to click through the stupid rank screen before you get the stats, so it would be nice to make the stats screen the actual default, because that's the important one. DPM, very low at 2400, 248 penetration, standard, that is pretty good for a tier 9, 360 alpha damage, 0.33 accuracy, and 8 degrees of gun depression. That is going to be very useful. And another interesting feature about this vehicle is that the entire turret moves up and down and not just the gun. Because the gun is fixed to the turret completely, which means the turret itself traverses up and down. So, interesting feature, I guess. That's why it's just a concept vehicle. And the maneuverability of this vehicle, the average speed is 40 kilometers an hour, which means this thing does move quite well. A 23.4 power weight ratio in this configuration, that is quite good. Obviously, it is a medium tank. It's going to be able to move around. The armor on this tank is as weak as its DPM. So basically, the sides are pretty well angled. So you could try to side scrape. The problem is it has this angled plate on the side, which means if you turn the vehicle to the side, this plate gets weaker as you turn the vehicle, which means you're not really having any protection whatsoever. You also have a cupola just for good fun. If the turret plate already isn't enough weak spot you also have a cupola on top that's going to make it even weaker so the armor on this vehicle is very much non-existent so you have quite low dpm quite non-existent armor but is it worth playing when it comes into the shop for a real price now let's play a battle or a couple of battles with this vehicle because i think this one needs a little bit of explaining because we already found out the dpm is impressively low compared to other tier 9s, for example, a T-54 has 3000 DPM, whereas this one in top configuration has just about 2600 if it goes well. So, not really a lot of DPM, which means you can't fight any other mediums in a DPM fight. Also, the entire turret depresses, which means as you depress the turret, your weak spot comes with you, which means if you're trying to play this thing hull down, that does not work either. So, you have a medium that can't hull down and that can't DPM fight. It does have solid mobility, so you can move around the battlefield, and that is what you're going to have to do. Because this is one of those vehicles that you have to play around the outside. You cannot frontally engage an enemy with this tank whatsoever, otherwise you're most likely going to lose that fight. Now, you do have 360 deep alpha damage, which is a little bit of an advantage, because, you know, some of them have 310, but it's not the only one that has high alpha damage. There are other mediums that have 350, and honestly, 10 alpha damage difference, it does not matter. So, here's the thing. First of all, don't buy the crates, because 65,000 gold, something like that, is what you need to get the vehicle guaranteed. Is this vehicle really worth that much, when it is, well, not as good as an AMX-30, really? I mean, the AMX-30 also doesn't have too high DPM either, but it at least does have usable turret armor. Uh, and also, that uh, only has 310 alpha damage, but it is somewhat usable. So, do you really want to spend 60,000 gold on a tank that's inferior to most other T9 mediums? Well, a lot of other T9 mediums, well, especially when it comes to DPM and armor. So, yeah, I mean, you're giving up the penetration if you switch to a M46 pattern or an E50, for example, but at least those work, I guess. I mean, it is better than the M46 pattern, I'd say. That's that's what it gets. It also has decent HE rounds, a decent HE penetration. So maybe that's a bonus. You can shoot at the side of the Lorraine for 450 damage. That's a bonus, I suppose. Um, but yeah, I mean, yeah, as you can see in this battle right here, it works. Like, it's a tank that works if you are a really good player. But if you're a really good player, you're going to have other vehicles that work even better than this vehicle. And if you're a beginner player, don't even think about it. 
do not even think about ever obtaining this vehicle whatsoever, right? This is not a tank that you want if you're a beginner, if you're an intermediate. This is a tank that you buy from an auction for 9,000 gold because nobody actually bought it earlier. This is a raging disappointment. Let's get into another one here. And I'm obviously, I'm going to go to the medium side with this vehicle. There's only two tier nines on each side, which is not too bad. Uh, quite useful. Heavies are going to the city. I hope they don't go all the way to the sea cap. Because if you're playing on this map, ideally you want to have like the control over A and B if you're in supremacy. Um, but C is not really that important most of the time. So let's see. Obviously got two shots there. Remember, if you get shot in this vehicle, it is very likely that you actually get penned. It does have some funky angles here and there that people are going to bounce off. Like, you can bounce off the front plate, you can bounce off the sides. You can still bounce off the turret in certain regards. You have 250mm on the turret in some cases, so it does have workable armor. It's not like a Leopard PTA that has nothing whatsoever. However, if the enemy aims, if the enemy even uses premium rounds, you are going to get penned very easily. And you don't have the DPM to brawl. For example, with an AMX-30. So you can't do that. You have to play over the alpha damage of 360. Which, if you try to do that against heavy tanks, you can't do. Because most of them got more alpha damage anyway. So basically, you have a vehicle that you have to hide in a corner. Uh, play around your team. Uh, you can't really be the one that does the playing. You simply have to wait for an opportunity to arise. And then exploit that opportunity. And that requires, obviously, a lot of in-game skill. That you simply can't teach in 5 minutes. That you can't probably even teach in 5,000 battles. So, this vehicle, you should absolutely avoid. Another, I mean, here's the thing about uh, premium tanks. If you release a premium tank that's too strong, everybody wants it. Right? And everybody's trying to get it. But if you release a premium tank that, like this one, is too weak... Then everybody's going to laugh at it for being in crates for whatever 60,000 gold or whatever you need to actually buy the vehicle. So this is another hilarity that Wargaming has released right here. And even though it can be a great tank if you are a great player, it is very dependent on how much of a player you are that you can extract something out of this vehicle. Because this tank is not going to do anything for you. It is not going to help you with anything. So... To sum that, what the, what, what is he, okay. I was about to say, I'm gonna die here, but what is, what is he doing? Like, I have two point, hello? What is your reload, sir? What, what are you doing? Can somebody explain that in the comments, what that was? Because I have, I have no idea what that would, what, I can't explain it. Anyway, basically, to sum up this vehicle, if you're a really good player, you can extract performance out of it. It's not useless. However, if you're not the most super of super unicums, you are better off with any other tier 9 premium or collector vehicle, basically. I mean, maybe not the TF5A because that thing sucks as well, but you're way better off with the MX-30 in that case. And that can also be obtained, not right now though, in the shop for a decent price. And for this one, it's probably going to take one to two years before it's going to be available for an acceptable price in the future. So, well... Once again, another dud from Wargaming right here. It's in crates, and it's not even good. So, uh, that's a bit sad. So, what do you think of this new re released vehicle? Put it down in the comments. I'm very happy to talk about it. Am I wrong? Is it actually OP? I don't know. The guy that says it's OP is gone. So, what do you think about it? Put it down in the comments. Because remember, I'm not all-knowing either. Maybe this review is wrong, but I'm basically like 95% confident that this thing's pretty trash. So, yeah. See ya.